What's up guys, Grim here. Congratulations to all the Rex winners in our last giveaway. This week's giveaway is anything you want from the Rift store as long as it's 5,000 credits or less and as long as it's giftable. We have to be able to send it to your character. All you have to do in order to enter into this giveaway is leave your character name and server in the comment section below and be sure to be subscribed to the channel because that is absolutely required. Once a winner has been selected we'll send you a message on YouTube here that way we can get in communication with you and be able to find out what you want from the Rift store. We found that messaging people in the game is kind of hard at times because a lot of times they're not on the same time that I am. So if you end up being the winner make sure that you check your inbox on YouTube because that's where we're going to communicate with you and find out what you want. Winner will be announced in the next Saturday video. Good luck everybody and enjoy the Inquisitor build video. What's up guys? It's build time and this time we're going into the third super spec that's out right now and it is the Inquisitor Cleric. And Inquisitor has always been strong in my opinion, even before 3.0. I believe that Inquisitor was the strongest spec out. Uh, a lot of people disagree with me on that. I remember uh, Ganked even said that he thought that Paragon was better. But I think the Inquisitor is absolutely the best spec out and has been for a very long time. And you guys are going to see why just shortly. So let's go ahead and go right into this build. And I have to say that this build was provided by a couple different people the variation that i ended up using is actually from exclusive at lathus so i hope you will enjoy the wrecks that i'm going to be sending you just shortly and here is the build guys as you can see we went 61 into inquisitor 11 into shaman which the 11 points into shaman are five into dauntless courage three into vicious streak two into single doubt and one into courage of the bear and this is a slight variation from what exclusive sent me but i kind of tweaked it how i wanted it and the final soul that we went into is defiler and we put four points into open-minded now if you want to see this uh spec on a website and not have to squint at the screen i will have it in the description below this video so check it out down there i'll also have all the macros and everything else so with the masteries we have our 61 mastery is vickers resilience our level 62 mastery is benevolent presence our 63 is faith's freedom 64 is diversify and 65 is soul stream all right there goes the build guys let's go ahead and go into the macros right now and I'm just going to do a quick overview of the macros. You will be able to find them all in the description below this video and copy and paste them from there. So this is going to be our main spam macro here. And then we go into our bolted depravity macro, which that's very important. Our third macro is going to be our burst macro, which is going to tie in three different abilities, but a lot of people like to separate these. Just keep in mind that a lot of people do not want to macro too many things together so if you feel like you want to separate these abilities in order to use them more efficiently feel free to do that and if you want to tweak the build uh, to make it work a little bit better with your playstyle feel free to do that as well don't think that you're locked into all this stuff and this, my builds are usually always for uh, newer players to the specs so if you get more advanced with inquisitor be sure to separate things as you feel fit and our fourth macro here is going to be our aoe macro and it casts soul drain first and then circle of oblivion with a gtae macro so that is our macros there our buffs are spiritual scrutiny armor of awakening and mind you our mastery makes it to where all we have to do is cast one of our armor buffs and it'll apply all three of them at once so we only have to put one on our bar all right then spiritual protection courage of the bear rage blight 
And this one is pretty much not needed at all, but I went in and threw it on the bar. Vengeance of the Winter Storm. That's pretty pointless for this build, though. All right, what's on our bar down here? We got our first uh, bar on our, our first ability on our action bar here is our spam macro, which is, I have it showing the Sanctioned Heretic, which is the first macro I showed you. And then we got the second macro. Then we have Purge. Purge is very important. It removes two buffs off of your opponent. And then Radical Coalescence, if I even said that right. Uh, judicial Privilege. And then we have Spiritual Deficiency. We have Scourge. And we have our Burst Macro. We have Harsh Discipline. And of course, break free on a separate button. Make sure that you always have that separated. Do not put it in your macros. Uh, then we have our control uh, abilities up here, which is Confound, uh, Bewilder, which confuses the opponent for four seconds, Trepidation, which fears the uh, enemies like in an AoE area. Then we have our AoE macro, and then we have Excommunicate, which knocks back the opponent and reduces their movement speed by 30%. Then we have a planar ability here called Overload, and if you do not normally have Overload, I will show you exactly where you get it. It is in your planar attunement in the war tree here, and as you can see right there in the first tree, it shows Overload right at the top there. So make sure you put some points into the war tree and get Overload. And then we have another ability here called Righteous. Uh, deliberation which uh, restores your mana over 10 seconds so all right let's get into how to play this build now and it is very strong with a lot of utility so if you get good at playing this build you are absolutely going to love it because you're going to be demolishing everybody and uh, yeah you might have to get a little bit of gear to really stand up and uh, do this build the best that it can be but it'll probably be real strong even with bolster gear but the first thing you want to do once you see an opponent is cast your purge purge is going to remove two buffs off of your opponent and that is very very important you want to make sure that you get these guys as weak as possible if you cast a purge onto like an assassin or something like that it's absolutely going to cripple them it's going to make it to where their poisons are purged off because assassins usually don't have much for buffs so if you cast a purge, it's almost guaranteed to take off one of their poisons, if not both of them. So you want to make sure that you cast your purge on your opponent. Uh, yeah, it's not going to allow me to cast purge on a dummy, but that's what you want to do. The next thing you want to do after that is you want to get them prepped up to take a lot of damage from you. And the first thing you want to do is spiritual deficiency, and that's going to make them where they take 7% more damage from you. That's going to be absolutely critical to this build. All right, so spiritual deficiency, and then go ahead and throw a dot on them, which uh, our main dot is going to be scourge. So we're going to cast Scourge onto them. And now we've got the debuff and the uh, dot ticking off on them. If you want to keep track of that stuff, I highly recommend you get the add-on called k Roll Alerts, or K-Alerts for short, and you can get it on curse.com. That way that you can have some kind of buff on your screen or something to keep up with uh, if you've got your opponent dotted up or anything like that. Because you never know, they might get cleansed or uh, your dot just might have worn off and you need to refresh it. So it's really good to keep track of that. All right, so let's say that we got them spiritual deficiency and uh, got them dotted up with the scourge. The next thing that you may want to do is go ahead and use some movement. You may be hitting your spam macro as needed like so. Now as you see at the very left of my character here, you see the the proc for Bolt of Depravity pop up. And it's counting down 50, 49 and such. That makes it to where our Bolt of Depravity is going to be an instant cast one time. So that's whenever you want to cast your second macro, which is also with fanaticism in it. And fanaticism makes it to where your next uh, spell is going to critically hit. So that's going to make our Bolt of Depravity hit very, very hard, and it's going to absolutely destroy players. 
So we've got them, and all my my debuff and everything has already fallen off. So don't think I'm going to hit too hard right now. But let's go ahead and throw the bolt of depravity at the dummy there. As you can see, it hit for a lot of damage, and it's going to hit players really hard as well. All right, so we've got them debuffed, we got them dotted, and we're pouring on the damage. Now. There are the burst macro here, which uh, first cast Soul Stream, I believe. As you can see, it channels and does a lot of damage. All right, we can hit it again, and it's going to do our Nisser's Rebuke. And then it also casts Aggressive Inquisition. So that's what you want to really pour on the damage onto your opponents. Now let's say that you went ahead and burned through all that. Well, also on our bar is Radical Coalescence, and that's going to reset all of those abilities so you can do them over again. So let's go ahead and hit it, and let's do our Nisser's Rebuke again, and our Aggressive Inquisition. Now, it's not going to reset the Soul Stream because that's a mastery, but it's going to go ahead and reset the other two abilities, and you're going to be able to pour tons and tons of damage at the opponent. And don't forget that you also have Harsh Discipline. It's not going to hit as hard, but it's going to hit pretty dang hard as well. And those are all channeled abilities, so keep that in mind. They can be interrupted. Now, while all that is going on, you've just got so much damage pouring onto the opponents. Let's say that they start hitting you a lot. You're, you're taking a lot of damage and you need to get away. Well, don't forget that you have all these CC abilities, such as Confound, which is going to interrupt. That's not CC, but it's, it's a utility. But you also have Bewilder, which is going to confuse the opponent for four seconds. It basically makes their character just walk back and forth for four seconds. And that's very, very nice. Uh, Trepidation, which is going to AoE fear everybody around you. So if you start getting a, a several opponents on you, go ahead and hit that AoE fear, and it's... This build is ridiculous, man. Uh, and then you got Excommunicate, which it knocks back the opponent, snares them, uh, which reduces their movement speed by 30%. Now, let's say that you use all that CC and all that utility. Well, you've got more stuff to do even after that. Let's say they're actually doing a lot of damage to you. You got an ability here called Judicial Privilege. And what that is, is it's going to apply five stacks of that to you. And each stack is going to increase your movement speed by 10%. All right, so you just got a 50% movement speed increase. The thing is, is every time you're hit after that, it's going to knock off one of those uh, stacks. So you're going to move 10% slower you know, uh, below the 50% boost you just got. But it's also going to heal 10% of your health every time that you're hit. So f for the five uh, next five hits you get hit by, you're going to heal for 50% of your life. That is absolutely crazy. Now, also, you have a, that planar ability that I was telling you about called Overload. And that's going to heal you as well. Basically, the tooltip says when hit, it deals 20% of the damage taken to the attacker and heals the cleric for 10% of the damage taken. And it lasts for 8 seconds. So that's going to be a huge heal as well. There's just so much good stuff about this build. And it is going to destroy everybody and keep you alive the entire time. Now... If you can't do good with this build, you pretty much can't do good with any build. This is the cream of the crop, and it is absolutely the best. Well, that's basically how to play an Inquisitor Cleric. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure that you hit that like button. And if you want in on the giveaway, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave a comment in the comment section below this video. And if you are new to Rift, make sure you check out the description below this video and use my referral link because you get lots of good stuff for your account and helps you get really started into Rift. And it also supports the channel. Um, and if you really want to support the channel, there is a donation button down there. If you ever send me money, I will definitely mention you on a video and give you much props. As usual, guys, my name is Grim. And I will see you next time.